Hello and welcome, Pastor John here. I welcome you to our Bible series uh, entitled Going Through the Bible, uh, all the 66 of the uh, books of the Bible. And uh, in this series, we're going to be exploring selected passages from every uh, book of the Bible. So here's a little bit of an introduction. We're going to look at the... Um, a little bit of what the Bible is all about, how it's structured here in this intro. And I'll just talk a little bit more about the uh, sermon format to help you out. And um, also to encourage you to read along as we look at specific Bible passages um, that, we, uh, that you can follow and read along. So that's very, very important. Um, so I want to encourage you to keep the Bible open. All right. Okay. So in this series, we're going to look at a passage, as I said, from every, every book in the Bible. So in the Bible, just in general, as a summary, there's 66 books in the Bible. And these are a collection of divine writings. They're God-given and they're revealed to many different people at different moments in time. Um, the time period of the um, recording um, of the Bible is around about 1,500 years, so 1,500 years. However, that's, um, that doesn't mean that what is being written uh, you know, refers to some events that took back you know, way further along. In the case of Adam and Eve, for example, real people, real events, um, and the fall and Genesis, um, we're not exactly sure how long ago that was, all right? So um, um, the, <clears throat> the canon, basically, of the Bible is basically the divinely inspired books. It's a set of texts, we call them books, um, yeah? And they come both from uh, original Jewish and uh, uh, non-Jewish believers, so Jewish and Christian believers. So when we look at the Bible, uh, some of the things, as I said, that were recorded are quite old. So one of the oldest books, we're not exactly sure. It's either Genesis or Job. Um, but um, as Moses writes Genesis, it's probably around, uh, uh, gosh, 3,400 years ago. And the newest book, right, in the New Testament then, that was the Old Testament, and the newest book in the... In the New Testament, Revelation was written about round about AD 90. So almost uh, 100 years of, of the, the birth of our Lord Jesus. So um, the Bible is basically made up of the Old Testament and the New Testament. If you know that, uh, this is a little refresher. So we have 39 books in the Old Testament and we have 27 books in the New Testament. All right. The, the Old Testament has uh, four segments. Uh, and that is the Pentateuch, Pentateuch. Those are the five books of Moses, and they range from Genesis to Deuteronomy. Uh, that's how the Bible begins. And then we have the historical books from Joshua to Esther. Then the third part is wisdom books, is the book of Job, and the Song of Solomon, also known as Song of Songs. And lastly, the prophets, uh, ranging from Isaiah to Malachi. So that's the Old Testament. In the New Testament, we've got three main segments. We, can div we have to divide it into the Gospels. That's the four Gospels, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And then the um, New Testament history, we call it the Book of Acts, which is really awesome, really super book. And then, of course, the letters and revelation, that is the books of uh, Romans to Revelation. So um, all these texts of the books are true events, right? But they're also great stories, right? So uh, we hold that every word in the Bible is true from beginning to end. Uh, why? Well, because it's God's word. Jesus is God's word and Jesus has given us his promise and uh, Jesus cannot lie. Jesus is God in the flesh and God cannot lie. So every word of the Bible is true. And to that we hold. And that's how we're going to approach all of this. And um, 
Okay, so the passages, we have 66 books, but in this series there are 70 uh, uh, sermons in that sense in total. Why is that? Because in the uh, Gospel of John, we're going to look at four separate uh, text passages from the Gospel of John um, to help us better understand and embrace um, our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's, that's why. And John is a really good gospel. We could have picked something else, but John is super. So we've got four. So 66 books in total. And we took four passages from the gospel of John. So that's 70. So the goal, the goal is to understand who Christ is as God in the flesh and why he came to atone for our sins. That means to to die for our sins, right? That is to die as on the cross so that we as believers in him have eternal life. And also that he is our savior, the Messiah, and he is the one and only who provides salvation. That's big one, right? So I just want to remember that. Um, so that's the goal to learn more about our Lord Jesus Christ. And every sermon then also deals with a specific topic and there's some practical applications uh, for you and me and all, all, all believers in Christ. And so you, you want to ask, well, how does this apply to me in my life? Right. So we're going to see that we find some answers uh, to the question. So join in here. Right. You're welcome to join. And uh, regardless if you are a Christian or God willing, right, rather sooner than later, you're, you're on the way, way to become a Christian, a believer of all of Jesus Christ. Join in, join us in this series. So um, get ready for this series. Um, be encouraged to open your Bible, as I had said, read along. Um, that is important to get the most out of the series. Um, the text we'll be using here is a paraphrase. It's called the NLT, the New Living Translation, but it's uh, not a translation in that sense, but a paraphrase, but it's Bible-based and Christ-centered. So it's a um, a good uh, version you can use. Um, if you have the NLT, that's ideal, right? Either as print or uh, hopefully you have hard copy, right? That would be great. Um, but if not, um, if you have a mobile or a computer, um, go to biblehub.com, for example, and they give you free access to the, to the NLT. Um, and that's one way to follow along and read along too. So it is my prayer for you that you are just as excited as I am. And um, I hope that this will help you to, um, to grow and, and, and stay in the Word, stay in the Bible every day. Um, that's the goal. The goal of all of this is, is to keep you in the Bible and uh, to help you grow in your personal relationship with Jesus. All right? So that's the whole goal of the sermon series. So may God bless you and keep you. Amen.